Well, to help us understand the magnitude of this situation in my degree, I'm being joined by the Executive Governor of Borono State, Babagana Zulum. It's good to have you join us on the news, sir. Well, our reporter, Jesse, has round the clock been giving us updates on the situation in my degree. From your position as the Chief Executive of the state, how dire is the situation? Mr. Governor, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm asking, you know, we've had a reporter, uh, this is five, fifth day, who will be talking to us about the flood situation in my degree. Uh, talk to us from your position as the Chief Executive Officer of the state. How devastating is this incident? <clears throat> uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have never witnessed such kind of floods in the history of Borno State, because I can say almost about 40% of the total landmass of my Dugri Metropolitan Council and general local government areas of the states were affected by the floods. Uh, thousands of people were trapped, and then within the last four days, but the civil population and the military and paramilitary are working hard in order to rescue them. The worst situation is that uh, the flood has completely disrupted the socio-economic activities in the state. Uh, more so, traders have completely lost their means of livelihood. And above all, women and children were severely affected because uh, most of them couldn't have access to food and non-food items within the last few days. Uh, you can see the level of devastation. Uh, the rescue mission is, has also become something very difficult. At some, at some instances, we decided to use Swam Boogie and others in order to rescue people. So what we did within the last few days, basically, is to rescue the lives of the people. And we have set up some camps in order to address situation. Thank you very much. Uh, 